What's up, everybody? Fravis here with an update video. We have uh, just recently, and I mean, uh, I guess yesterday, I guess it came out, a uh, bunch of new information. I'm just going to make a quick little video, just a quick little thing to inform you exactly what's going on. So you may have already known, I mean, if you play, that they already increased the daily quest reward and the game win reward. So whatever coins that you get when you win a game, that's been increased to 50, 50 coins rather than uh, 20. The daily quest rewards were increased. There's like a whole ratio of them. I mean, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the numbers are because frankly, I, I, who cares? But they did go up and they stated uh, specifically, Wizard Chris, that the reason is to improve the overall gameplay of the game. So they said that they recognize that it's really boring to grind out the hard AI over and over and over just for coins. And they think that it's a better idea to minimize that grind to get people interested in the game. And that just happens to coincide with the next update patch thing. So the next two expansions are actually going to come out at the same time. It's going to be Oath of the Gatewatch and Shadow over Innistrad. Or is it Shadows over Innistrad? Whatever. And this should hopefully push them up to catch up with real paper magic. Because if you're aware, like they're behind at least one not a block, but at least one set, a full set. So, like, people are playing Oath of the Gatewatch now, and and Duels is only on Battle for Zendikar. So they're easily way behind. And maybe now they think that by releasing two of them, it'll catch them up with every with regular Paper Magic, and maybe now from now on we can be side by side. Who knows? Let's hope so. Now, this coin increase is not going to include Community Quest, so the the weekly community quest that we get a little bonus on is not going to be included. Uh, that's going to remain, I think, uh, 20 coins. It will also not include the daily reward. So that's like if you if you go in and just do one game and you win it, you get a little you know daily reward set of coins. I think it's also about 20 coins. That's not going to increase either. So this is only for the daily quest reward and the game win reward. Also, the daily cap of coins earned is not going to change. So the daily gain is going to be the same, except it'll be a lot easier to get to that cap. They may or may not change that in the future. Who knows? So roughly, um, there's going to be 146 new cards from Oath of the Gatewatch and about 158 cards from Shadows over Innistrad. So that's just around 300 cards-ish. And they're going to be two separate packs. Again, they're released at the same time. There's just going to be... It, it's it's like their regular update, or at least a regular expansion, but at the same time rather than over time. Something that might interest people, uh, Wizards Chris actually confirmed that Two-Headed Giant will reward coins, and I quote, soon, but not in this current update that we're talking about. So we don't know when they'll reward coins for two-headed giant but we do know that it will be coming who knows when soon means anything honestly we don't know now something kind of interesting wastes specifically the colorless mana land those will be unlimited in the game they're they're going to be treated exactly like regular basic lands where you can just put as many as you want into your deck not actually as many as you want because there are other limitations but they'll be treated exactly the same as regular colored mana. I'm not really sure, or at least they didn't say that they're gonna, if they're gonna update the older cards with the new colorless mana symbol. Now, for those of you who don't know, in Oath of the Gatewatch, uh, colorless mana, specifically colorless mana, is a thing, and some cards require that you only spend colorless mana in their cost. And as a result of that, Wizards has changed the symbol so it's not just going to be like a little gray one in a circle it's going to be like this weird little diamond shape i'm not sure if they're going to go back into the older cards in duels and change all that so like all the scion tokens are they all going to say are, are they all going to have the little diamond colorless mana symbol or are they going to remain with a one i would think that they change it but you know who knows all right that's about it guys um can't think of anything else. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. I will definitely scour the internet for you and try to find out anything of interest. Obviously, I'm going to keep making regular content here and there. Nothing's really going to be changing for me anyway. In the background, you're probably watching me finish my last game there. You'll be seeing me open up my last pack for Battle for Zendikar. And I will be completely 
caught up in Battle for Zenikar. Very happy about that. I know it took me forever, but then again, I haven't been playing every day. I really haven't. I've been playing, you know, once a week or so. Just, like, I've only been playing, like, three to five games a week, honestly. But yeah, other than all that crap, it's just increase in coins only for the daily reward and the and the game win reward. Wastes are going to be unlimited, so you can have as many as you want. Shadows over Innistrad and Oath of the Gatewatch are going to be coming out simultaneously. And at some point in this quote-unquote soon future, Two-Headed Giant will reward coins. It's going to be about 300 cards total, and hopefully there will be some other much needed UI changes or just quality of life changes added to the game. I'd certainly like to see a lot of things, uh, namely chat. Not a lot of people have been really begging for chat recently. I guess we're all getting kind of used to not being able to talk to each other, which is really annoying. Honestly, I think that's my top concern of this game. I really, really want chat back. But hey, you know what? Not a big deal, I guess. All right, guys, that'll do it. I'll see you uh, on my regular episodes.